All right, this is going to be a quick video on the deck belt for the 636. They're super easy to do. You really don't even need any tool to do it. Uh, however, if you, you do have a half inch um, hole there for the tensioner, all you have to do, lower the, the unit down, lower the deck down all the way, take these covers off. You, know, you have these right here. Just unscrew, loose them, take those off. And look, with one hand, I'm just going to lift the belt up and, and pull it like this. I'm doing this one hand. And now the belt's loose. So it goes across the front all the way to this pulley around the tensioner. And then you'll have to take this piece off, off the back to go around uh, the clutch there. And then once you have it, you know, you have the other side uh, cover off, loop it around that one. And you can, hope you guys can see how the belt goes. So it goes from the clutch, loops around that one, goes straight over here, loops around this spindle, and then there's the tensioner. Now to put it on, once you got the new belt on, one-handed, one-handed, just roll it on. Super, super simple. All right, I hope this helps you guys out. If you're needing to change that deck belt on your 636, they're super easy. And by the way, those those are really good machines. I really like those. They're little, I call them, they're little tanks. I, you know, I say that all the time. As long as you keep oil in it and keep the air filter, fuel filter, get some clean gas in there and do the maintenance on them, uh, those little machines are little tanks, uh, really good machines. And also, just uh, one other thing I'm going to show you guys in the in the video. I'm always, a lot of these videos, I'm wearing these gloves. Uh, they're super nice. Uh, I get these at Lowe's. Uh, I think they're about, it's a five pack. Um, I can't remember. I think they're about six or seven dollars. Uh, of course, maybe that's gone up. But anyway, I like them because you can actually work with them. I go all the time from going from working on something hot, got exhaust, there's greasy stuff, everything. So I throw these gloves on, get in there, get the job done. And then next thing I know, I'm having to do paperwork or uh, look up something on my phone or uh, type on a computer, take a phone call, whatever. And I'm not constantly having to wash my hands going back and forth. And plus, uh, I can just get in there real quick and easy not worried about getting scrapes if I'm having to, you know, reach in through a wiring harness or something and it's greasy, dirty and all that. You know, I just reach in there. I'm not coming out with cut up hands and all that. You got cuts and all that. Um, it's not about being tough. It's about being efficient and smart. Okay, so grab you some gloves. These are really good. Um, I wash them out and then throw them away. They're, they're cheap enough. I mean, I probably have 20 pair of these things and I just cycle through them. But hopefully that helped you guys out. And if you need to look up any parts on your uh, 636, uh, go to deer.com on your cell phone. Uh, it's not John Deere, it's deer.com. Then go to um, click up on the right hand corner, go to parts, and then it'll say uh, serve parts and service. And I always just click commercial mower, uh, pretty much brings up everything. And um, Click on commercial mower and then you'll need your, you know, you can look up a lot of stuff on your, uh, uh, with just your model number, but you may need to know your pin number as well, your product identification number, because uh, on some things, well, on a lot of things, on a lot of models, they have serial number breaks where they've improved or switched the part or replaced a part or whatever. They've changed something, changed the design. So you'll need to know your uh, pin number. Uh, but go to deer.com. It's what I do all the time, on, 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 even at work. Instead of just, it gives me the price. You can select the dealer right there next to you, and you can find that part number and and you know uh, get that get that correct belt on your unit, and it saves you a lot of time. Sometimes the parts guys might make mistakes. They're super busy guys, give you the wrong part. But if you already know that part number, the correct part number, uh, saves you some time, gets you back out there making some money. So anyway, hope you'll hit that like button, subscribe, and hope this video helps you guys out. And if you have any other ideas, stuff you need to know, I got a lot more welding stuff. I got some welding stuff coming up and um, uh, grinding and all that stuff, demos. 
uh, tips and tricks on that. So stay tuned and I hope you all uh, subscribe. Thanks guys. See you next time.